So I'm Craig Peters, and I'm uh, in the Division of Urology. Uh, so I'm a pediatric urologist, which means I deal with all the conditions related to kidneys, ureters, bladder, external genitalia uh, for boys and girls um, up until young adulthood. And um, it's a wide range of uh, conditions that we see. Urge syndromes can come from a variety of different causes where a child will sense the need to urinate and can't quite get to the bathroom in time or actually doesn't choose to because they're distracted. And that pattern is probably our most common. What they're doing is contracting their pelvic floor, trying to stop the urination. That actually makes the urge stronger sometimes, and they fight even harder. And so this gets to be a vicious cycle that we try to break. And that's in contrast to the child who's the voiding postponer, who what we try to do is get them on a regular schedule, teach them how to relax better, and empty their bladders more effectively. I think parents can play a significant role in helping their children control their wedding. And a lot of this is simply being aware of the problem, setting up a schedule for the child, and a child from, say, three or four to probably seven or eight should be voiding between every two and a half or three hours. Um, so the ch parent often will have to remind the child to go and don't accept the answer, I don't have to go. Don't ask the child, do you have to go? It's simply, it's toilet time, let's go. Um, we want to encourage it in a, in a non-punitive um, way. It's not a punishment. We want the child to help themselves feel more comfortable with this. We also try to help them learn relaxation. So slow down the process. Make sure that the child doesn't rush out of the bathroom. Make sure that they're relaxed when they sit on the toilet, particularly for girls. I often will have them void and then distract themselves for a few minutes and then try to void again. It slows them down and it helps them get their bladder more completely empty. So one thing that parents, particularly of the early adolescent and adolescent boy, need to think about is if your son complains of sudden onset pain in the testicles, don't write it off. That can be a surgical emergency. If the testicle is twisted, it will lose its blood supply and you're gonna lose the testicle within hours. And so we need to get those kids to be seen and sometimes promptly undergo relatively simple surgery, but it can save the testicle. Um, it's not terrible to lose a testicle if you have another healthy one, but there are two there for a reason, and it makes sense to be aware of it. It will enhance the potential for fertility, obviously. Most parents are interested in that. But I think the key thing to do is if your son complains of this, or if you sense that they're not acting right, gently ask, where's the pain? and seek attention immediately. Don't wait overnight. Don't wait for the end of school. You need to be seen right away.